What's happening, Am? It's Dan Lawless here for West Ham Fan TV, giving you my instant match reaction to West Ham nil, Brighton three, and how awful was that? That was that was poor. That was beyond poor. Three nil to Brighton and Hove Albion at home. You know, everyone was predicting. I saw so many predictions on Twitter online of yeah, three nil West Ham, three nil West Ham, and it went completely the other way. You know, we just didn't start good enough. You know, it's like we started asleep, conceded that goal which woke us up a bit, and then it's like we threatened to score, but we didn't create any real many concrete chances, you know, and we didn't take any of the chances we did create, which always seems to happen, and then lo and behold, you know, we switch off and then they get another goal. I didn't even see their second goal because I was too busy seeing who was on the bench who would come in and affect it. But that's the thing with this lineup. This is the lineup, you know, everyone wanted. You know, you had fan favourites and they're like Obiang people have been, you know, always want to see start. You have Masuaki, people have been crying out for Masuaki to start. You know, and the thing is, he does put some good crosses in and things like that. Um, but ultimately, so yeah, we had probably the best team that we could have put out there. We put out there today and it just wasn't good enough you know you have Zabaleta you know he, he works hard you know he always puts in a shift yeah he gave away the penalty uh, it was a tough one it's one of the ones you can see why it's been given maybe I wouldn't say from where I was standing it looked like a stonewall penalty you, you know you could have seen him not give it um, but yeah so at the end of the day I think this all just comes back on the manager and that's the thing like the players that we have are too good for how we're playing and what we're doing and you got to say is I think a lot of them just aren't maybe aren't playing for the manager um, and it all comes back to that it all comes back to the manager because people can say oh the players the players who's the one coaching them at the end of the day like I said on paper these are all good players before they came to us they were all good players but we have this thing where we just seem to turn good players crap um, and I don't know why it is and I think now it's that now is the time to make the change. There's, this is this perfect opportunity for them to go out and, you know, let Billich go and look for a new manager. Um, and people say, oh, what would that, that do, like, under these owners, whatever. You know, like, getting a new manager, sometimes it will give them a lift. Could be different training regimes, things like that. And this is, because this is the thing, like, you know, I think if we kept Billich, I think ultimately we would probably stay up, right? And you might not think that on the back of this role, but I reckon we'd probably just scrape staying up. But if we scrape staying up, then well, there's a good chance we st if we play shit all season, scrape staying up, we'll lose the good players that we have and fail to attract decent players in the summer, whoever we have in charge. It's too late by then. Do it now. Um, you know, we're eight games in. You've given them a fair chance last season, eight games into this season. It's just not been good enough at the end of the day. And I've been very resistant to call for Billich. This is the first time I've gone out and out and said, you know, it's time for the change. So, um, yeah, that's for me, I think it's just come to that point now. It's just time to make the change, time to get a new manager in, whoever just start at the high, the top manager you can possibly get, whack a load of money, two chills and chillotes. They can only say no, innit? They can only say no. Then what happens? Then you go down next down the list, your Mancini's, Pellegrini's, and then go from there. Um, and it just usually a change of manager gives a little bit of a lift to the players, to the fans. So I think that's something that we definitely need right now. Because what we've got next, we've got uh, Spurs in the cup. We've got Palace, you know, who have finally just started scoring goals at this point. Before you would have welcomed Palace, but now you don't know, do you? So uh, flipping and then City. So I don't know. I think it's time for a change. Gaza, I just want to ask you a question, mate. What do you think on Billich? Do you think it's time for change? Um, I'm, I'm always Billich in and that, but like, uh, he's got a good team there, but he just don't know what he's doing with it. I don't know, I don't know man. But... Well, that's what I'm saying. The team is, a, you look at the players we've got, it's a very good group of players, mate. Yeah, it, listen, I'll still go week in, week out. Oh, no yeah. what the fucking result is at the end of the day. Uh, something's got to change, mate. 
Like yeah. we, when we lose, it's it always we're always pointing fingers at people, aren't we? All yeah, time, yeah. But well, it's got to be a reason, isn't it? There's got to be it, something it, why. So you got to work it out so it can improve, like, isn't it? Some teams go on and win. Like they win one game, then they win two, then they win three, then they win four. But we we win one, then we draw one, then we lost, two, then we lose two. Then yeah. it's it's not good enough, is it? Yeah, today. that's something it. needs to change. For the players that we've look, got, look, 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 can you hear them all? Look, they, 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 they took the piss out of us. And yeah, yeah. Brian took the fucking they piss did. out of us. I have to. I, do you know what? Though, I have to give them respect because from the start, for the first whistle, they were up for it. The fans, they had a game their plan. Players were up for they it. They had a game plan. Yeah, and it, and it paid off, mate. Fair play. What, listen, what can you say? Fair play to Brian. They beat us fair and square, but it's not good enough from us. The, yeah. The manager ain't doing what he's fucking meant to do. I think he's lost the players. Yeah, that's. Don't get exactly me wrong. I ain't got nothing against the man or nothing like that. Nah, but, nah. but when you lost the players, what you know? What else can you do? But you don't. I just think like. Uh, I'm I'm screaming for Tony Martinez, and I'm sure everyone else, all the rest of the fans are screaming for Tony Martinez. Yeah. But sure, he would fucking try hard, and then Hernandez, where's Hernandez? What, what's, yeah. it, what's Hernandez doing? I know, well, I know he's feeding off scraps and whatever have you, but yeah, it's not good from no one, from the fucking back to the front. It's not good. It, it's all going to pot, mate. But that's what I'm saying. You mentioned about Tony Martinez. See when IU came on for Ki for Kiate, Imagine Martinez could have come on instead of IU. At least you know Martinez is going to be hungry, yeah. raw, and. You, like I'll give the guy, give the guy a chance, mate. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But apart from that, I, I don't know where I stand with the fucking team at the moment. I'll still go again next oh, game, yeah. Tottenham away. One of them players on the pitch. I mean, Spurs in a cup, bring Nobs on, and hopefully they put a no. Shift Spurs in, in a cup, play Anto play them um, Tony Martinez, mate, and that's what I say. Listen, I reckon I've said it for ages. I reckon we've got a wicked striker there, but we just don't know it yet. Yeah. Well, the manager. Well, we all know it, but for some reason the manager don't know it. That's it, mate. So oh, we move oh. on to Spurs. Yeah. Let's see, guys. Let's see. We'll right? beat them. We'll all be the happiest people in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Billy Chin. Yeah, but yeah. No, I don't know. I'm losing. I'm losing faith. Nah. I really am. But I'm still. I ain't got nothing against that man. No, nah, no. Nah, but I love his passion and that for the team. But if you ain't got a formation and that right and what you're set out to, like we underestimate Brian. Like we always underestimate all these teams that come. Oh in yeah, definitely. It's the same same old shit. I think we're better than we are. Yeah, we think we're better than we are, but we're not. And Arvich, one lazy. I'm gonna say this year, Arvich, you one lazy cunt. <laughs> Sorry, man. He's one lazy, lanky cunt, mate. I'm telling you. Uh, well, he's not the only one. We're not going to blame him on one person. It's an old nah, team it's performance, old team, and he's so. fucking terrible. That's it. <sighs> well, I said my piece. Sorry. <laughs> well, cheers, Gaz. Well, let's see what happens, mate. No let's see what happens. All right. Well, don't forget to subscribe. All that sort of stuff. We'll, we'll still be coming. We'll see what happens next week. And one thing left to say: come on, you irons.